Hello, I'm really excited because today I'm going to introduce you my Flipper Zero friends, the Pwn Gochi and the Wi-Fi Ash Monster that is sleeping already right now. Yeah, it's late in Europe. So let me start with like the Pwn Gochi here. So what is a Pwn Gochi? So physically the Pwn Gochi looks like a bit of the Flipper Zero. So you have a cute little two eyes here, like made with like some characters and some some useful information here. So here it's based out of like a Raspberry Pi wireless, uh, a zero one and an ink display. So you're not forced like even to use like a screen. You could connect right away with like your smartphone and have like a um, web interface or even like use a regular Raspberry Pi and use also like the Ethernet cable, let's say for instance. What you really want here is like to have like something that you could put in your pocket or bag, you know, a handle device basically. Because here, like the pawn gochi is like pawn for like, yeah, to crack the, the wireless network. So it uses better cap. And the aim here is like to maximize all like the, the surroundings to gather like a pickup file from, from Wi Fi, capture the handshake etc. So I'll let you deep dive here. Like if you want to, to go, I'm not going to, to be the one explaining all about the, the protocol and how it works like to, to break into uh, Wi-Fi here. By the way, only mess around with the Wi-Fi um, that you own or that you're authorized, of course. So here it's interesting because it's using like AI. So it's basically like learn more you are using it and yeah there is also a letter board so like the flipper zero where you have you know a level on like the main screen here you have like a, a little board like um online all of fame how many like um wi-fi network your pungochi like uh, met and how many like use the deauthenticator against them? So yeah, you see you see where you are like to to maximize like all the different uh, method to to gather like um, packets, and then if you want like yeah you could like uh, do any any cracking um, offline on your on your computer or even online like it's uh, so there is a whole community like to to kind of like test and uh, learn more about like the, the Wi-Fi security on it. So what also I like here, it's like you could use a GPS module here with an OTG uh, cable and you could like pinpoint after in, in Wiggle.net uh, project all the SSID around you, you know, so it's really interesting. I found like to, to be able to, to make your own map and see what's, what's around. For this, I, I also like bought like, um, a PCB from, um, Joseph Ewitt. So he made is like nice, uh, project. Actually here it's a mess. So, I didn't like solder it well. I need to, to fix that. Two ASP32 dev one. You could like use external antenna. One will be like only used for Bluetooth device. So it will sniff all the Bluetooth device. The other one is Wi-Fi. And you have also like a GSM uh, module. So you will know where the cell towers are. And, um, Back here, like you have um, a GPS module. So of course you're going to have like a really nice uh, wiggle map with all the antenna, the Wi-Fi 
network, the Bluetooth device, everything what's around you, you know. So in case of like just being curious what's going on or like if you need to do any security assessment to see what's around facilities and stuff, that could be uh, pretty useful. And that's autonomous as well because like you will have like a little screen here to see um, what it catch or you could like uh, log into web interface too. So that being said, it's not like a, a little monster or um, uh, Panagotchi. So the so last one here, disconnecting because I was running out of battery. So yeah, I just highlight the MAC address and the SSID, but here basically it's a little monster. That is like uh, listening here only. He's not doing any diode um, attack. So it's really going to be passive, I will say, in the fact like it's going to gather also like a different uh, packet uh, from, from the handshake, but that's going to work much slower, slowly than the um, Pongochi. Also, you could see it's kind of um, slow as well here, but that's by design. I mean, it's ESP32, so you could not ask that much compared to uh, a Raspberry Pi, right? And what I kind of like also between like these two, uh, two solutions here, it's like one is IoT device. Um, based or I would say I would at least design for so that's uh, AWS uh, design so it's maybe a bit cheaper because like you are um, I would say uh, sponsored a bit by Amazon that's yeah maybe the yellow yellowish like colors could like uh, show it about you have also like what, really interesting some lights here like if you want to to, be, to develop something that's alerting or or making any 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 information you know with that light um, built-in like temperature sensor barometer pressure and microphone even so yeah if you let's say play a bit with the wi-fi don't want it anymore like you could just for something else same thing with like here the pound gochi some people use it as a ticker as a code um, uh, display system like uh, who knows what you want to to do with it so i found it's like really really interesting and complementary tools like if you want to learn about um the wi-fi security especially no compared to to the flipper zero so flipper zero for me i, I have noticed like plenty of people know like use like e either like the dev board um to install the router firmware like i maybe said earlier and yeah even add like a sd card so that's additional yeah uh customization or you could like use another asp32 and a prototype uh, board to make your own like uh, router um, uh, module but here like the thing is really i found like nice between like all the different like product is like the community and the kind of uh, gamification here like because yeah you have like cute little monster here like here like the, the eyes you know that are moving depending your your phone and not like uh, some wi-fi so you could even like build one from your for your friends and like kind of compete like we have noticed the most of like wi-fi network in the area and uh, stuff like that so i found it's really interesting i'll be curious um to know if maybe you come from like a pound gochi community to, into into flipper zero or you are totally new to this and maybe you want videos about about that so please let me know in in the comments if you want to know more about this and i will be happy to to update them all and and play around thank you for watching and stay tuned in the channel bye bye